be moving on with our values, education, grade 7, a rete book. Let's take a little pause before moving on to trivia about adolescence. Just take a breather so that we don't just be rushing from one thing to another. Just breathe, relax. Let's start with the opening prayer. All together with your hands in position then. May the wisdom of the all-compassionate one so shine within our hearts and minds this day that we may be enlightened in our acts, thoughts and deeds. So shall we learn to be true, good and happy and attain the spiritual peace. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya. Right, okay. It's very important to think of those things. Let's take a moment. It's important not to let it just become, you're not just saying it, you know, like a machine. We're going to learn to be true, learn to be good and learn to be happy. Yeah, that's our nature inside. All right then, so we're on page 8 of the books, or the PDF. You can also just use this. The word, let's read together then. We're talking about adolescent under trivia. The word adolescent came from the Latin adolescentem, which means growing, near maturity, or youthful. So adolescence is really a process to maturity. It's going forward, gradually changing towards being fully mature. All right, so we're clear about that, what the meaning and where it comes from. <clears throat> so the next part at the bottom of page eight, dear students, as I look, uplifting realizations. Uplift, let's bring up our hearts and minds and spirits to be lifted up and realize. Students, I would like to ask you all, and individually, how can you enjoy the process of adolescence and persevere to full maturity? How? How can you enjoy it? this process you're going through? And how can you make sure that you don't give up and that you persevere all the way to full maturity? How can you do that? Have a think about that. Can someone put their answers in? You know, we've got different ways to, as we go through these months, to submit your answers, but they can be in many ways, including messenger, and that can be written or audio. And that can be on the private message also. And I think we could do it in the group chat. But the problem with that is it pushes up the other materials up and up and up and up. All right. So how can you make sure that you enjoy it? You don't want to be sad and hating growing up. These are things that is just going to happen automatically, like a plant growing, like fruit growing on a tree. It just happens step by step as time continues. So how can you make sure that you enjoy that as much as possible? So there's not one answer. Maybe many people have different answers. But I would like to emphasize these following points. Yeah? Firstly, adolescents should have positive self-worth. Adolescents should have positive self-worth. I'm good. I'm valuable. I'm a good person. I'm really worth something. I'm not nothing. I really have good things to give. And I'm a really good person inside. I really am. And believe that and know it. And be sure of it. Not because someone's told you it, but have that. Yeah? 
that would be a great thing to go forward with. If you doubt that, or if you have the negative self-worth, then <clears throat> it can lead to having, having a lot of struggles. Next, you should be patient. Learn to be patient, and be patient as you meet struggles. Things don't work first time, they don't work the second time, they don't work the third time. People do things that you don't want them to do. The world acts in strange ways, and this can happen all the time, even in a small thing, and being patient with yourself and your efforts. Practice reflection. Is that something that you already do? Do you reflect? Do you look at your daily life and go, hmm, hmm, yeah, I think I see why she said that. Why did he go over there then? I don't really understand. Hmm, I don't. Perhaps if I look at it this way, I'm going to be more calm than if I look at it that way. So all the, this is the kind of activity of reflection, practicing reflection. Fourthly, listen to the advice of positive role models and not negative people. <clears throat> listen to the advice of positive role models, and there are many. Whether we're talking about the big religious leaders, the messiahs, the buddhas, the, the Jesus Christ, or Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad. So listen to the advice of positive role models. So then you might have an uncle or a sibling or a teacher, a mentor, a class advisor, um, or a parent, or who are good positive role models. Okay, moving on. Now this is an activity. We're going to have the groups to read the poem out loud. We're going to make ourselves into four groups. So look at the poem. That's on page nine. Now that's called the Desiderata by Max Ehrman. So we will divide the Desiderata poem into four sections. And we're going to assign stanzas. Those are groups of words, groups of lines, sorry, <clears throat> for each of the four groups. And I'd like then, once we've done that, to ask the groups to read their portion of the desiderata. So if you look at the whole page, um, group one will read from Go Placidly at the beginning, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten lines down it says, and lesser persons than yourself. That's for group one. From go placidly amidst down to and lesser persons than yourself. Got that? And then group two. After that it says, enjoy your achievements. And it goes right down. One line, two line, three line, four line, five line, up to the sixth line, ends with do not feign affection. Especially do not feign affection. Feign means to pretend. Third group, we're going to do the section following from neither be cynical, right the way down to uh, one line, two line, three line, four line, five line, six line, seventh line. Be gentle with yourself. Got that? From neither be cynical about love, group three. Down to be gentle with yourself. Fourth group. From you are a child of the universe. And then one line, two line, three line, four line, five line, the sixth line, strive to be happy. That's right at the bottom. From you are a child of the universe, group four, down to strive to be happy. Okay, so with your group, so you're going to have to decide amongst yourselves. You can pause the video here. 
and decide amongst yourself how you're going to do that. So it depends how many people are in your group, but you might be able to read like uh, read one line each. So that's one way to do it. And then submit those audio clips on Messenger. <clears throat> so you can even create a group on Messenger. Have a look at doing that. That could be a good way to do it as an example. And then take it in turns to add the clip by audio. Uh, that's one way. TikTok is another way. And then share the TikTok. Um, the, you look at different ways to do that. How your group, there's a problem for you to solve. How can your group uh, create that. Good. Let's move ahead onto this exercise. So firstly, yeah, form your four, gr four groups. And that's going to be group one, group two, group three, group four. And just this intro. This is not the poem. This is just my intro as a teacher. So all of us have dignity and must always believe in our self-worth. This means that regardless of age, regardless of race, regardless of your financial status, regardless of educational attainment, and regardless of religious affiliation, we are called to respect and value our fellow men, fellow people. Let us look closely at the poem Desiderata by Max Ehrman and find some inspiration. Okay, let's move on. So this is going to be output from group one reading out loud. For the sake of the video, I'm going to also read it through now, out loud, and you can always turn the volume down or, or whatever, so it's, a, it's just to be as a guide line. So, when you're ready, go placidly amidst the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence as far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all, all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. That's ending of re end of reading out for group one. Group two, read out loud. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Ah, just a minute, there's a mistake. Okay. Ignore that. Ignore this slide. This should be where uh, group two start, not where I just said. Here we go, group two. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs. 
for the world is full of trickery. Let's continue. But let not, <coughs> but let this not blind you to what virtues there is, what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals and everywhere life is full of heroism. That's heroes. Be yourself, especially do not feign affection. Let's pretend. Okay, so that's the end of the reading out for group two. Group three. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity, that's dryness, like in a desert, in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it's like disappoint, it is as perennial as the grass. Perennial means it grows back, like grass grows back, even if it goes dry or gets burnt, it will grow back green later. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture, it's in the Czech, uh, nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourselves with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. So that's the end of the reading out for group three. Group four, read out loud. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God whatever you conceive him to be. And whatever your labours and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham, drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful, Strive to be happy. End of reading out loud for group four. So that's the end of the poem. So here's some things to ponder, points to ponder. And you're going to answer this. What do you think is the message of the poem? What's your take on that? Do you want to take a look back? But you can work that out. You can hit the pause button here. What do you think is the message of the poem? How did you feel after reading the poem? We'll pick a stanza from the Desiderata and share your feelings and thoughts about it. So look down the actual whole poem. And you can lift one bit out of it and then write about it. So dear students, I would like to ask some of you to share some of your favourite lines from the poem. My activity, I would like to ask you all to answer the points to ponder on page 10. And then I would like some volunteers to share their answers once you're done. So, yes, I mean, I think we're missing a slide here. 
Mm. Yeah, we're missing a slide. So it, if you take a look at the book or the PDF, you should get to see, one, what do you think is the message of the poem? What do you think is the message of this poem? Secondly, how did you feel after reading the poem? Pick a stanza from the Desiderata and share your feelings and thoughts about it. And that's where you write this slide. Stanza from Desiderata, you copy it out, two lines. And then, what are your thoughts and reflections about that? Clear? And then I would like some volunteers to share your answers. Which bit did you select and what is it about it? Good. Moving on, we're on page 10. Page 10. We have a summative test activity. Firstly, identify the person or the concept that is being described by those following items. And write your space, write your answer on the space before the number. After, I would like to give some volunteers to share their answers. One, this refers to respect for or a favorable opinion of oneself. Two, this refers to the physiological maturation and genetic makeup of a person which influences his or her developmental tasks. Next, thirdly, this refers to the guiding principles in our life. That's a very powerful exercise, I find that. And fourthly, this refers to a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bond of mutual affection. Fifthly, this refers to the educator who asserted that adolescents must fulfill certain developmental tasks to mature into early adulthood. So who's that then? Sixthly, this refers to what Havik Hurst believed to be a way for adolescents to attain mature relationships with peers. And seventhly, this refers to the position, which a position, this refers to the position which a person occupies in a particular setting. And next, eight, this refers to a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bond of mutual affection. And also, this refers to a practical way of taking care of your changing body, body uh, so that you can attain your full height and strength. Ten. This refers to the specific culture to which the individual be belongs, which influences his developmental tasks. And output, I would like some volunteers to share your answers. You can hit pause at any time during the video. Positive notes. <clears throat> we are called to be bearers of hope and love to our fellow men. Think of three classmates who think you think you could use. We are all called to be bearers of hope and love to our fellow men.
think of three classmates who you think could use positive affirmation at the moment. Write them a small note and hand it over to them. Now, some of the examples for positive notes are the following. Your kindness is so refreshing. I appreciate your considerate behavior. You are the kind who can do it, and you're doing great. Let's take a pause there, and I'll complete the rest from this slide on the next video. So we're up to B, positive notes. Let's just take a breather there, pause, and I shall resume a little bit later on.